Today we are going to discuss magazines for the AR platform. When Eugene Stoner first designed the AR rifle, he envisioned the magazine as aluminum, lightweight, and disposable. For the last 50 years, the military has stuck with this idea and are still using cheap aluminum magazines. But there are other options out there. Why is the magazine important? Most malfunctions when using quality ammunition are traced back to bad magazines. Magazines have four main parts. The body, the base, the spring, and the follower. Magazines come in three materials. Aluminum, steel, and polymer. Each has benefits and disadvantages. Aluminum magazines are lightweight, inexpensive, and plentiful. They are, however, fairly easily damaged. They can be dented and the feed lips can bend, can be bent. Both of these situations make the magazines inoperable. Steel magazines are, are heavier, generally the most expensive magazines, and are the rarest magazines. However, the HK magazine is generally considered to be the best AR magazine on the market and is also the most expensive. The polymer magazines are a little heavier than the aluminum, but more durable. Polymer magazines are generally fatter than aluminum or steel magazines, so they may not fall free of your magwell like the metal magazines do. Now, Lancer Weapons makes a fine hybrid magazine. The magazine has a translucent polymer body and steel lips. This makes the magazine very durable. The translucent body allows you to easily see the rounds in your magazine so you can always know how many rounds you have left. Magpul, now Magpul, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm speaking here myself, is a lot of the products that we've been showing the last few weeks when it comes to uh, blackjack firearms, firearms for the handguard, pistol grip, and stock. So here we come now with the magazines. Back to John's letter. Magpul makes the most popular polymer magazine on the market, the P-Mag. The P-Mags can be purchased with or without a window on the sides. The window allows you to keep track of the rounds in your magazine. P-Mags are currently available in Gen 2 and Gen 3 configurations. The Gen 3 magazines have a narrower base than the Gen 2, making them easier to fit into the AR magazine pouches. They also have redesigned bodies with a better grip and come with a dust cover. Now, this is pretty cool to know, too. I just thought the dust cover was the dust cover. The dust cover not only keeps the dirt out of the magazine, but also keeps the top round in the magazine from putting pressure on the lips of the magazine, allowing you to store the magazines loaded without worrying about the pressure of the rounds cracking your magazines. The P-Mags come in 10, 20, 30, and 40 round cap capacities and are available in black, flat dark earth, OD green, and sand colors. Magpul and several other companies use non-tilt followers in their magazines. It is recommended that you use only non-tilt followers and make sure your magazines use top quality springs. Now, all these magazines and more are sold by Blackjack Firearms and will be available at the Belton Gun Show on the 10th and the 11th of October. Now, the no followers, the, the no tip followers, very important. They, had, uh, they have longer legs to them, so it enables them to stay straight in the magazine as compared to uh, tilting, causing a potential malfunction. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was an email that was sent to me from John of Blackjack Firearms. He's going to be at the gun show with us at the radio show on October 10th. And he'll be there on the 11th as well. But I've got right here, I'm going to show real quick. I've got an extra minute or two to show. But i got a whole box of magazines. And you're probably not going to be able to tell much from where I'm sitting. But these two right here, the grayish colored one is your standard looking AR magazine that the military, military gives out. An aluminum mag, grayish in color. And that's the most common and they consider it disposable. This next one here is the actual metal magazine. 25 round stainless steel black Marlube gray follower, okay? A lot sturdier and stronger than the other one, but it's probably more expensive than the cheap aluminum ones that the military use. Then we have Gen 2 P Mags. And what's nice about the P Mags, they, they come with a window or they come without a window. These are the ones that John was saying had the fatter um, butt plates, and it makes it a little bit difficult to store two in a mag pouch. Um, so, but these are the difference. And these don't come with the dust covers. They're 30 rounders. The next one here is the Lancer that we had discussed. The Lancer has a clear window that you can see. You can see all the rounds in the magazine. It's got a bunch of stippling on it for better grips. And um, it's made out of a polymer as well. And the prices are probably around 20 bucks or so. When it comes to the Generation 3 P Mags, like we had discussed, they've got the smaller base that you can double stack a. Uh, two mags together that would fit in a standard mag pouch because the, 
the bottom plates are a lot thinner. They also have the dust cover that goes on them, and they come in 10, 20, 30, and 40 round mag ca uh, capacities. So, ladies and gentlemen, Blackjack Firearms, they got it going. Go to bjfirearms.biz to check it out. They've got all that. And don't forget to go to the show next Saturday and Sunday. They'll be there. They'll be doing the, we'll be doing the show live, uh, normal times, but the show opens up right around 9 o'clock. 